Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're bringing another Microsoft Flight Simulator State and Sports Venue Tour to you. Today we are going to go through the state of New Mexico. And when we left off our last episode, we were in Colorado Springs. We had gone down the eastern side of the Rocky Mountains in a small plane. And we've got a ways to go in this one, so we're going to take a Cessna Citation private jet. And what we're going to do as we take off here in Colorado Springs is we're going to go all the way to southern New Mexico so that we can work our way back north and then go over to Arizona and work our way south and then we'll go from the southern part of Arizona over to southern California and go north through California so we are in the air here in Colorado Springs we are going to turn and head south and our destination on this flight will be Las Cruces, New Mexico you can go up to about 31,000 feet I think is our cruising altitude you can see Las Cruces 420 miles away Obviously, I'm just going to bring you bits and pieces of that flight in the interest of time. So we got up above the Rocky Mountains, and as often is the case when you go over the mountains, we got into some turbulence. I think off in the distance to the right you're probably possibly seeing into Utah we're now 335 miles away from Las Cruces so what we're gonna do is go down to Las Cruces and then I actually decided after I took this flight to Las Cruces that it was probably in our best interest to go even a little bit further south and east and include uh, UTEP in El Paso as part of this episode because El Paso is just so far away um, in Texas from anything else that we're going to be seeing uh, as far as Texas goes so we're going to they're going to be on a uh, El Paso is going to be an honorary member of the state of New Mexico in this episode so it was a little bit turbulent up at 31,000 feet so we dropped down to 28,000 feet it doesn't look like it's tons better down here but and obviously I speeded this up so it looks a little more turbulent than it really was and on this trip down playing with a few camera angles so we're gonna see the New Mexico State facilities and then we're gonna go down and see the University of Texas El Paso facilities and then we will head back north to Albuquerque to check out uh, the University of New Mexico. So here we're over the state of New Mexico. We're coming up on Las Cruces about 55 miles away now. As we start our descent here into Las Cruces, New Mexico, Chile capital of the United States at least, possibly the world, I don't know. So we've come down from 28,000 feet to 14,000 feet. Las Cruces is now 29 miles away. And that will be where our first venue is. We are going to announce our intentions to land in Las Cruces. And this is the first time in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 that I have tried to land a anything bigger than a small plane. And so I was a little bit nervous, and there was a very real possibility of me crashing this thing. And I was nervous about that all the way down. So now we are about on to our final approach in Las Cruces. Just about nine miles away. The airport was out on the west side of town. Kilo, Lima, Romeo, uniform, traffic, Cessna, 
So we'll land in Las Cruces, then we'll jump into a smaller plane to go check out the New Mexico State University facilities. But first we gotta put this thing down successfully. As we are now on our final approach and have clearance to land at Las Cruces International Airport. Not a huge international airport, obviously. I love the colors in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Super diverse and uh, so much better than anything from the past. I mean, the last time that they had a flight simulator, I think was like in 2007 or something like that, 2008, maybe 2006. I don't know, anyway, it's gotten tons better as we come up on the runway here. I was sweating bullets. Tell you what, white knuckle in this one. But outside of not trusting myself to put it down softly, did a pretty good job of lining it up. And we touched down. So first attempt at landing a private jet and it went successfully. Super happy about that. I was stoked, actually. I was pretty fired up. Uh, pretty happy about landing that. And it helped my confidence uh, with some subsequent flights. I'm a few I'm a few episodes ahead of you guys on making these videos. And it, our flight into San Diego uh, was awesome. The landing in, in San Diego was pretty cool. Uh, something to look forward to. But first, we're going to go through the state of New Mexico. And then after we get through New Mexico, we're going to end up um, in Albuquerque. And then we'll head from Albuquerque to Flagstaff, Arizona. And then we'll head down south through Arizona and end up in Tucson. And then from Tucson, we go over to San Diego. And then, I'm telling you right now, guys, California episodes are awesome. And they, are, they were a lot of work. Um, but I decided if, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to go all out and I'm going to include all of the Division I, uh, even non-football playing schools. So my apologies to like Denver University. We already went through Colorado and we skipped Denver University because at that point I was just going to do football playing schools. Um, and also in Arizona, we missed Grand Canyon University. Uh, so my apologies to people that would have liked to have seen those facilities. But starting in California, we decided to hit all of the Division I schools, whether they had a football team or just a basketball team, and see those venues. So we even got all of those Big West schools like... Uh, UC Irvine and Cal State Fullerton, Long Beach State, all of those, all the way up the all the way up the state of California. I think there was something like, I don't know, there was over 40 venues that we visited in the state of California, compared to like what six venues in this episode. So, and the state of California will be in two episodes. So, and they're pretty, they're they're lengthy ones. They're about 45 minutes each, but. We cover a lot of ground and see a lot of stuff in those states, and it was pretty cool. It was a pretty fun trip. All right, we're taking off from Las Cruces International in a smaller plane here. This is one we're going to go and uh, check out some venues in. Starting in Las Cruces. So Las Cruces is the home of the New Mexico State University Aggies. And uh, me growing up in Utah, being a Utah State fan, 
got a lot of history with New Mexico State. And to be honest, a lot in common with New Mexico State, more than just the name Aggies. Uh, for the longest time, both Utah State and New Mexico State had pretty strong basketball programs and just lousy, terrible football programs. So we had that in common. And because of that, I kind of grew to very much dislike New Mexico State's basketball team. As we come up on the basketball arena here, straight ahead, the white square building is the Pan American Center. And then just beyond that is Aggie Memorial Stadium. The football stadium for New Mexico State. We get a pretty good look at this football field. Pretty awesome. New Mexico State. So I have kind of a soft spot for the New Mexico State football program because when I look at them and their struggles, that very, mu very much could be my Utah State program at this point right now if we were not lucky enough to turn our program around and get invited to the Mountain West. And uh, we've had a pretty good past decade, but that we'll talk about that when we get to Utah. But soft spot for New Mexico State in football, but basketball is a different story. We've had kind of a heated rivalry with New Mexico State in basketball and uh, grown to very much dislike each other. So it's kind of weird. I, I cheer for New Mexico State's football program. I don't as much cheer for their basketball program. All right, so we decided to head south out of New Mexico and pick up this far west city in Texas, El Paso, and check out UTEP's facilities in the New Mexico episode. UTEP and New Mexico State is the I-10 rivalry, so we just kind of followed I-10 all the way down to El Paso. As you can see, the city straight ahead of us. Now we are actually outside of the United States. We are in over the top of Juarez, Mexico. As we circle around, we're going to come through the downtown area of El Paso. You can see just how packed the city of Juarez is. And then looking across the border into the United States, a little bit different. It's pretty crazy how much of a difference there can be between countries in pretty much the same geographical area. So we circle around whereas my brother lived in El Paso for I don't know the better part of a year I think. He liked to joke that the state bird was a plastic bag blowing around in the wind or the city bird I should say. But El Paso, pretty cool. There's, uh, you can see some of these buildings are, you can tell that they're probably historical buildings like uh, just above our left wing that, that looks like a, I don't know what it is for sure, but like a church or something like that, possibly. So some historic buildings in El Paso. Uh, El Paso, short for El Paso de Norte, the Pass of the North, or North Pass. And now we're going to check out the Sun Bowl Stadium. And it's a really cool venue, and I didn't realize exactly how close to Mexico it is. I mean, it is like right across the river. You can see into Juarez from the back side of the Sun Bowl Stadium. And also above that is the Don Haskins Basketball Arena with the white roof. But Sun Bowl Stadium, a lot of history there. The Sun Bowl has it at one time been a very prestigious bowl game and it's still more prestigious than a lot of them we go over the home of the utep miners and actually right flirt with the uh, border of the united states right here but we're going to turn around and make our way back north after checking out those two venues you can still see the don haskins center bear haskins in the background and now we'll head up the mountain range and kind of backtrack a little bit. My apologies on that. I, If I would have 
thought to include UTEP in this episode, I would have flown all the way to El Paso in the citation. But I didn't think to until after we landed in Las Cruces. I was just like, you know, I don't really want to go like from Lubbock all the way over to El Paso and then back to Lubbock or back to, you know, back to civilization in Texas. So we better include UTEP in this episode so that we can get them in a, uh, I don't know, more economical fashion. All right, we're 183 miles. Whoa, that was a little... Sorry about that. We've sped things up here. We're 180 miles from Albuquerque. And there's a lot of open area in New Mexico. The drive between Albuquerque and Las Cruces is probably really pretty in certain ways, but also very, very barren. And I mean, it, it takes a certain appreciation of the desert to think that it's beautiful, which I do, actually. Um, I think the desert's absolutely stunning, but it's, a di it's different. It's just a different, different appreciation that it takes to like the desert. I mean, driving from Albuquerque to Las Cruces... A lot of people probably would think that it's absolutely terrible, but I would love it. Um, but I like driving through the middle of Nevada, so crazy. All right, 150 miles away from Albuquerque as we uh, just headed over the White Sands missile uh, area, missile testing area. Make our way. I love the colors of the desert and Microsoft Flight Simulator done an excellent job of the colors and like the elevation changes are they're unreal it's uh just to tell you how accurate the elevation is in microsoft flight simulator i found the house that i grew up in in logan utah and i put myself on the ground you, there's like a free camera that you can just kind of roam around you don't have to necessarily even be by your plane um, so I put myself on the ground and I went into my backyard of the house that I grew up in. And there was, in the, in the edge of the backyard, there was maybe a seven foot drop down into the neighbor's yard. And it had that rendered in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It had my backyard and then the little seven foot drop into the neighbor's yard. I went down the road to the, the area where we played neighborhood football in. And our football field was just a couple of people's backyards, but in between the backyards, there was a slope. There was just like a five-foot slope, not even that big, but it was there in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So these elevations that you see are absolutely, like, dead on. <laughs> Pretty incredible to have the entire world rendered like that. Um, so, yeah, we played football as kids with a hillside. We just... We got used to having the hill in the middle of our yard, I guess, kind of like uh, Houston Astros ballpark when they had the hill out in center field. They were used to it, opposing teams not so much, but we were used to our football field having a hill in it. So we'd run our run fly patterns and stuff and just, just right in stride, go down the hill like it was nothing. <laughs> kind of crazy, not even looking, looking up at the ball even, tracking the ball, running down the hill. It was pretty wild. Think back on it that nobody blew out their knee or something like that all right we're heading to albuquerque again new mexico not quite as bad as wyoming but a little bit like it really spread out and not a lot of venues not a lot of colleges or and no pro sports teams outside i think do, does albuquerque still have the isotopes minor league team i mean i'm not going to do minor league venues but that might, if they still exist, which I'm not sure they do, that might be New Mexico's only pro sports team. Okay, we have reached Albuquerque, home of the New Mexico Lobos. So Albuquerque's still recovering from that blue crystal meth crisis that they had back about a decade ago. That was a bad joke. But obviously Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul uh, set in Albuquerque, New Mexico. 
Here's the downtown area of Albuquerque. We're going to circle around that before we check out the University of New Mexico venues. Downtown Albuquerque and then the University of New Mexico is off to our left a little bit. A little bit uh, south and east of the downtown district. But pretty close. And you know what? As I make this video, the New Mexico Bowl is actually going on in real life. Uh, UTEP and Fresno State are playing each other in it. I was going to hopefully catch a little bit of that before my Utah State. Aggies play tonight in the LA Bowl. But... You can see the airport is also fairly close to the university. So we're going to check out the university here. And first off, we're looking at University Arena, better known as the Pit. And it is straight ahead of us. The square roof right there, that is the Pit. We're going over it right now. And then University Stadium, the football stadium right here as well. And that is where the New Mexico Bowl is held, as well as all the home games for the University of New Mexico Lobos. All right, we are almost done with this episode. We're going to stop here in Albuquerque and put this plane down. And then we'll take the citation again in our next episode from Albuquerque over to Flagstaff. And I did that trip as a night flight which was pretty cool because I mean there there wasn't a ton to see I mean there's desert and stuff and I'm sure there's some pretty spots but I thought this was a good a good place to do a night trip from Albuquerque over to Flagstaff and it was really cool landing in Flagstaff at night which you'll see in our next episode which covers Arizona so we're gonna head south through Arizona and then jump over to San Diego and work our way north through California in a couple of ex uh, episodes. And then we'll just continue to go up through Oregon and Washington and then over to Idaho. We'll go down through Idaho and Utah. And then from Utah, I'm not sure where to go because we've done New Mexico and Wyoming and Colorado, all those states that border Utah. So we might kind of skip southwest and try to knock out Texas after Utah and get those big states of California and Texas out of the way. Or another thing we could do is, well, I think because since we're going from north to south through Utah, I think that's probably our best bet. We're just going to head over to Texas and maybe start working our way east through the southeastern part of the United States. So we'll go through Texas and Louisiana, uh, Mississippi, all down through there, and then maybe work our way back. I don't know. We're, we're making it up as we go, so... All right, let's put it down here. This is Albuquerque International Airport. Really huge runway, so we shouldn't have any trouble putting this down. I mean, we've got a lot of extra room if we're not lined up right at first because we're going to we only need like maybe a fifth of this runway to land this plane. So, we shouldn't have any trouble here. Have the luxury of not having of being able to come in a little bit higher and take our time not have to put it down right at the start of the runway in order to have enough time to stop we've we've got plenty of room and we're gonna take it too <laughs> we're gonna just make sure we put it down nice and easy here Okay, guys, that's going to do it for the state of New Mexico. So, so far we've knocked out three states. Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico. Up next is Arizona. And I figure we'll get the western United States, most of it out of the way to begin with, since the states in the west are generally bigger and the flights are going to take me longer. And then once we get work our way further east, we're going to be hitting venues fast and furious, a little bit like California was. 
very fast and furious. So I hope you guys are looking forward to the next couple of episodes. It'll be Arizona, Southern California, and then Northern California. And we'll go from there. But I fully intend on doing all, all 50 states. Actually, it'll be more like 49 states because Alaska doesn't have any pro sports teams, major pro sports teams, or even Division I college teams. So we, we'll skip Alaska. They probably deserve their own episode geographically anyway. But I think we're going to – we'll take a trip to Hawaii. Maybe – how are we going to get Hawaii in? I don't know how we're going to get Hawaii in. We'll find a way. Maybe we'll do that after – Washington. But anyway, this is New Mexico. It's our state and sports venue tour on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming.